Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel, exploring music and psychology and all these amazing artists from all around the world. Checking out someone from La France today, France. Um, Saz, an amazing singer and her song, Ebloui par la nuit. Now, this means dazzled by the night. And this shout out, today's shout out goes to Fog, friendly old guy. Thank you for suggesting this. I am familiar with a song by Saz that I haven't listened to in years that I love. I have it on one of my playlists in one of my other channels somewhere. And I absolutely love it. And when I heard him say, when I saw his suggestion of Saz, I thought to myself, she sounds familiar. And I looked it up real quick, and sure enough, the one that I know is this. Donnez-moi une suite au Ritz, je n'en veux pas des bijoux de chez Chanel, je n'en veux pas. Donnez-moi une limousine, j'en ferai quoi? Pa pa la pa 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 la. Offrez-moi du personnel, j'en ferai quoi? She has an amazing voice. My hair is wild right now. She has an amazing voice, this rasp, this jazzy voice, unique vibrato, and she's built, she's been over 1.48 million subscribers, very big in France and in Europe, and I want to check out her song, Ebloué par la nuit. Now, this one I have not heard before, but I'm excited to check it out together with you. As always, like, share, subscribe. Are you ready? Let me pull it up, and here we go. This is the official clip. Over 55 million views. Ébloui par la nuit, un coup de lumière mortelle. Affoler les bagnoles, les yeux comme des têtes d'épingle. Epic voice, huh? Je t'ai attendu cent ans dans les rues en noir et blanc. Tu es venu en chiffon. French is such a beautiful language, isn't it? So beautiful. Her voice is phenomenal. Here, I'm hearing even more of that strength. In Je Veux, um, it, I could, you can definitely hear that rasp. It was way more jazzy. Right, the trumpets, the, the, the cello, I believe. And just very jazzy, bluesy. Um, very jazzy and um, that rasp and the vibrato very prevalent in her voice and strength it's very a lot of strength to her voice in this song here she's singing with such strength uh, you can hear the rasp very clearly to me the vibrato the rasp and this has more of that bluesy vibe to me um, sad song from what I can tell we'll talk about the lyrics after but you can get a sad vibe the way she's touching the the water on the bench almost like it could be tears um, on the other side, this gentleman who looked for a second like he might be homeless, sleeping uh, with their backs against each other. So interesting elements in the video clip. We'll talk about the lyrics after. Let's keep it. Oh 
Wow. All right, it's your turn. What did you hear here? What did you notice? What did you hear? Comment below. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> I would like to know. That rhymed. What? Um, phenomenal. I really would like to know right away. Let me know. Um, what did that evoke in you emotionally? All right? We, t we say we're all about music and psychology, and I usually share with you what I feel, what I think, the instruments. We talk about the music and the lyrics. But I really would like to know, even before you listen any further, just pause and let me know or type as you listen. What emotions did this evoke? If you dare, share with me what memories, perhaps, as much as you're comfortable with. The lyrics dazzled by the night with a deadly light. To graze the cars with eyes like pinheads. I waited for you a hundred years in the streets in black and white. You came whistling, dazzled by the night with a deadly light. Shooting the cans as lost as a ship. If I lost my mind, I loved you and even worse. You came whistling, dazzled by the night with a deadly light. Should we love life or just watch it go by? Of our nights of smoking, there's always almost nothing left than your ashes in the morning. To this metro filled with the dizziness of life, at the next station, little European, put your hand down, lower it below my heart, dazzled by the night with the deadly light, a last lap with a hand at the end. I waited for you a hundred years in the streets in black and white. You came whistling. Dude, oh. This is just, you know, like the, the, the Google translation of the French lyrics. There's probably a much better way to convey, to translate that. But the, the idea I'm gathering are twofold. On one hand, I'm seeing the possibility of a lost love, someone waiting for the other for a hundred years, waiting in the streets. Um, this idea of, yes, that person never showing up, though it says you came whistling, Maybe there's still this idea of hope, still hoping, still waiting. You'll you'll show up, you know, whistling, singing, joyful, perhaps. Even elements, either parts of the lyric that speak of, um, should we love life or just watch it go by? The nights of smoking, there's almost nothing left. To me, that implies this idea of those memories we had, those nights we were up smoking. It's almost all gone, that memory. A love that was lost, two people that broke apart, or death possibly because it says dazzled by the night with a deadly light that can be interpreted both ways when you're dazzled by something those lights at night it's sparkly it's romantic it's intimate but it's a deadly light because it leads to heartbreak or little literal death occurred here because it speaks of it speaks of where did it say something that made me think this person might have even died your ashes in the morning so that reference most likely referring to the smoking, you know, the ashes of a cigarette the next morning after a night of smoking and all those memories. But I wonder if that could even be interpreted deeper or relatable to those who lost someone and now death has occurred and they're, the, the, those memories are fading. Because when people die, sometimes that's a fear for those left behind that they're forgetting the other, that the memories are fading. Or people who are going to die, which is all of us, sometimes the, that's the fear of being forgotten, not having lived a life fully enough that we will be forgotten and we won't have any anything to live by or we won't have anything that we can keep living through, right? Like our children or our legacy, right? Sometimes people work so hard to build that because it's also their way of dealing with death anxiety because they hope that they can live on through others and the memories of others. So if we were to, you know, look at it from that angle, I think there could even be ways to take that song that way, or it could be meaningful to people who have lost someone they love, a spouse or someone, and there's this pain, or as I said before, a loss, a love that is lost, that memory of the times together and now waiting, hoping this person comes whistling, um, that dazzling light that ends up being deadly, um, very sad, but more than even this translation, because again, I don't know how much this translation does justice to how we could say the lyrics or how we could translate the lyrics more poetically, even just the emotion. Honestly, I don't feel like you don't even have to fully um, understand the lyrics to see the suffering and her voice. Oh my gosh, like it almost made me cry. She has a phenomenal voice. She has quite a wide range and it was neat to see here compared to like the song Je Veux where, you know, it's more in the lower range and it's a lot of that rasp, vibrato. It's more playful, jazzy, funky. Here, it was much more bluesy, more he heavier on the guitar, I believe. And her vo voice, that rasp, the, the, the cracking in the voice, that 
crying, the pleading, just so much emotion. Oh my gosh, even that final O as she's sitting on the bench and he gets up. Um, and it almost felt like they didn't even know the other was there. He looked to the side at one point and she was looking up. For a moment, I thought, will he see her, you know, and they will connect? But he was looking up, she was looking up. He looks to the side and back to the other. And she is on the opposite side of the bench. And it's it's so disheartening because it's like, they're right there, you know? If, if you guys are talking about each other, referring to each other, if you're that missing person this other person is referring to, you're right there. You guys are right there. But it was presented in such a way that they were worlds apart, that she was crying on her own, imagining him in there, hoping he would show up, but he wasn't. Him sitting there suffering, grieving, and she's not there. I mean, it was like beautifully, very tragically presented in the music video. The water pouring down, soaking wet, the crying, the grief. Oh my goodness. I mean, so emotional, but her voice conveying that emotion, my gosh. Okay, <laughs> this was beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching with me, for being part of this channel and the community. You are awesome. I hope you know you're loved and you matter. Till next time. Ayo! Hey